the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish. And looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full, those who ate were about 5,000 men, now not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have our own breaking point. It's not about strength. It is about attitude, understanding. It's about self-image or even lack of faith. You have to answer it by yourself. What is your breaking point? In the first reading, Moses said, Are you displeased with me? That you burden me with all these people? Yun ang tanong niya. Galit ka ba sa akin? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, what is happening around us is nothing compared to what is happening inside of us. May mga, mga, mga bagay na maliit lang, pero sa ating mga kalooban, parang malaking malaki yan. May mga bagay na malaking malaki sa labas, pero sa ating mga kalooban, sasabihin natin, wala yan. Kaya natin yan. So saan nagkakaroon ng pagbabago? Nasa pananaw, tiwala ng sarili. In the first reading, Moses was complaining about the burden given to him as he cared for the people. The gospel is the opposite. It's a proactive approach. Rather than sending them home, Jesus said, feed them, feed them. And one of the disciples said, what we have are only five loaves and two fishes. So what? As Jesus had said, give it to me. Give it to me. Alam natin ito. Kung gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, Marami talaga tayong dahilan. Kaya kung ano man ang pagsubok sa buhay, ikaw lamang ang makasasagot. Pagkaminsan, 
Sabi nga, depende yan. Sabi ng mag-ama, <clears throat> sa harapan ng kainan, eat all you can. Nakalagay doon, eat all you can. 480. No left over. Tanong ng tatay doon sa anak niya, kaya ba natin ito? Ang sagot ng anak, kaya natin yan. Hindi yung kung kaya nila yung 480. Kaya ba nilang bumawi doon sa 480? Ay mga Pilipino, ganun eh. Pag kumakain ka sa, kumakain ka sa, sa eat all you can, kinukwenta mo eh, tatlong pinggan, 480 na ba ito? Hindi pa, hindi pa. Kukuha ka pa. Kahit putok dyan na. Nagluwag ka na ng belt, nagtanggal ka na ng botones, nag-CR ka na, kunenta mo. Parang hindi pa 480. Kakain ka pa. Bakit? Pag-iisip yan eh. Nalamangan ba ako? O nakalamang ako? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Bakit pag ang pagbibigay ang pinag-uusapan? Napakabigat. Pero bakit pag ikaw ang tumatanggap? Parang wala man lamang katapusan, ha? walang fulfillment, walang hangganan. Kaya nga tayo mga Pilipino, takot na takot tayo. Pag binigay mo ang palad, takot ka. Baka kunin ang siko. Pag binigay mo ang siko, baka kunin ang braso. Pag binigay ang braso, baka kunin ang leg. Patay ka. The burden. That's why it is so difficult to understand the meaning of love as to order ourselves for the good of the other. Kahit sariling kapatid, sariling kamag-anak, sariling magulang, sariling anak, sometimes it breaks us when they ask for help. Nasisira ang ating mga kalooban. Magsabi kayo, kahit saan, pamilya, religious communities, even, sabi nga nung isang nagkwento ang isang obispo sa retirement house na mga pare, mga retired na yung mga pare, at syempre, sama-sama sila sa retirement homes. Nag-away yung mga pari. Mayroong isang paring naghamo ng suntukan. Bakit? Naunahan siya doon sa isang upuan. Naunahan siya. Ay, ganun talaga pagka minsan eh. Nasanay ka. Kahit ikaw ay pari, nasanay ka na ikaw ang amo doon sa sarili mong parokya. Ngayon, retirado ka, nakatira ka sa isang ret retirement house. Ni Monsignor o Obispo, pantay-pantay. Sabay-sabay ang kain. Hindi ka nakakapamili ng ulam. Kasi kung yun lang ang niluluto at yun lang ang pinaluluto, mga minamahal na mga kapatid, the breaking point is never about strength. It's about, most of the time, entitlement. When we feel we are so entitled and what we want are not given to us, most of us feel so broken. Not only broken, we complain, we grumble, and we even despise God. What is the invitation? What is the invitation? To look into ourselves. Pagka minsan, feeling natin aping-api tayo. Aping-api tayo. Kaya nga sinasabihan ko yung mga magulang, yung mga anak ninyo na nagre-reklamo ng hirap ng buhay, minsan, isama ninyo dito. Hindi nyo kailangan tumulong. Iparada nyo lang ang sasakyan nyo o kaya ay tumayo lang kayo sa tapat ng 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 na simbahan at tingnan ninyo yung mga pinapakain street dwellers hopefully it will make you realize how blessed you are 
How blessed you are. Ano sabi na isang bata? Iyak siya ng iyak. Wala siyang bagong sapatos. Nang dinala siya ng tatay niya dyan sa Rizal Avenue, sabi niya, uwi na tayo. Uwi na po tayo. Sabi, bakit? Ayaw ko na. Bakit nga? Mamili ka. Ayaw ko na. Sabi ng bata, Sorry, Papa. Iyak ako ng iyak na wala akong bagong sapatos. Nakita ko yung isang bata. Wala siyang paa. Iyak ka ng iyak na wala kang bagong sapatos. Hindi mo nakikita na yung iba kahit pa wala. The grace of today's readings and Eucharistic celebration is perhaps to examine our attitude. Second, see our lives, how much we have been blessed compared to others. And third, as Many times I've said this. The secret of a happy life is a grateful spirit. Not all happy people are grateful people. But all grateful people are happy people. In the gospel, they were not only provided food. There were even leftovers. When God provides... He will not only provide what is enough, He will provide more than what you need. Amen. We still have our morning 10 to 11 communion outside the Mass. This lockdown is not about how many percent is allowed inside the church. This lockdown is about having less mobility. With less mobility, hopefully, there will be less transmission. Iwasan po muna ang maglalabas. Iwasan ang pagtanggap ng bisita sa bahay. I woke up this morning with the news that one of my batchmate in Pampanga was tested COVID positive. Ingat po. Ano po? Ingat. Ingat kayo. Going back to what I've said, it is really difficult to understand the meaning of love that we have to order ourselves for the good of the others. Because what really burdens most of us is the responsibility by taking care of the people whom we love. Kung tayo-tayo, kung kanya-kanya lang, sa palagay natin, sasabihin mo, kaya ko. Pero yung kalingain mo, ang mga taong pinapakalinga sa iyo ng Diyos, doon tayo nahihirapan. Kaya nga, dapat dagdaga ng pagmamahal at maliwanag sa iyo, sino ang nagbigay, at sino magkakaloob ng biyaya. Do not forget that God will always provide for those who ask and He will receive more. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.